There is a unique feature in the Visible ID mod, which allows you to do a closer inspection on IDs, specifically on slug pup IDs, as they are one of the most complex creatures that exist in the game, besides scavengers. And before you ask, the answer is no. I will not waste my time showing you how all this works. Do your own research. For this test, I have selected four juvenile slug cats. Each have varying attributes that should make for an interesting experiment. The first slug pup in our roster is subject 23334, code name Bingus. They are a relatively mellow slug pup with lower than average scores in personality traits, but higher than average scores in physical stats. The second candidate is subject 6587, code name Fleece. Their scores and their personality traits are evenly split with the exception of sympathy, and their physical stats are pretty good all around, though they are on the smaller side in stature. Our third subject is ID 6287, code name Jib. They have above average stats in personality scores and have pretty good scores in their physical stats. They are also the smallest candidate. Our fourth slug pup is subject 42346, code name Onion. They have above average stats in both personality and physical scores, with the exception of energy and stealth. Now let's get to testing. We shall start off this first test within a controlled environment in order to easily observe all four subjects. While I sprinkled the test chamber with various food sources, Bingus is quick to go after the most difficult prey item, an egg bug, which is a weak and rather harmless creature, but very agile and hard to catch, especially for a little slug pup. All have very healthy appetites and are quick to eat anything they can get their grubby little paws on. Bingus quickly realizes that they are unlikely to kill the egg bug with a spear, so they begin searching for another way. They grab a spore puff, and when they next see the egg bug, they throw it. Spore puffs are a natural insecticide, and the resulting explosion sends the egg bug into convulsions as the cloud of poisonous spores suffocate it. Whether by accident or on purpose, Fleece flings a rock at a nearby beehive, triggering the bugs to retaliate by slinging a multitude of tethers at any creature nearby. It is unknown as to what the purpose of this threat response is meant to accomplish, as the bugs die soon after executing their signature attack.
All right, let's move on. The slug pups will continue to gorge themselves on food while inside of this enclosed simulation. So let's add some conflict before the entire test chamber becomes covered in bug gore. A pink lizard should be easy enough to deal with. Now that a tangible threat has been introduced to the test, the slug pups scatter in different directions. Fleece has succeeded in pinning one of the lizard's limbs to the wall, which buys the others time to regroup. With that splendid spear work, Jib becomes the first to successfully kill a lizard. Next, let's have a blue lizard. Do not underestimate their smaller size. Blue lizards are known baby killers. Unfortunately, Jib's earlier success doesn't prepare them for the attack, and the blue lizard quickly snatches them up and does away with them before any of the other pups have a chance to help. Witnessing the elimination of their sibling, the pups go on the offensive. Frustrated by the constant barrage of rocks thrown their way, the blue lizard decides to settle for the carcass of the egg bug. Onion sees an opportunity in this and is quick to enact revenge. Time for a tougher opponent.
Thankfully, the slug pups realize that they have the high ground advantage when it comes to agility. Green lizards are notoriously incapable of climbing poles. Bengus has been incapacitated, but the snails in the lizard's path momentarily distract the lizard, and miraculously it loses its catch. Unfortunately, RNG dealt Bengus a bad hand, and so they are currently considered dead. With the power of vengeance filling Onion's little heart, they move in with the intent to destroy. Since the green lizard failed to bring Bingus into the den, Bingus gets a free revive. However, reviving slug pups from death has a consequence, and Bingus must now endure revival sickness for the rest of the test. The next challenge will be against a cyan lizard which is even more agile than the slug pups and may prove to be the end of this experiment. But let's see what happens. Onion finds themselves in the same circumstances that killed Jib and is eliminated while a sickly Bengus helplessly watches. Bingus is in serious trouble. The effects of the revival sickness has them stumbling around, unable to properly grip a spear to defend themselves. That was amazing. Fleece scored a critical hit on the cyan lizard with that second spear throw, puncturing the cyan's gas bladder, causing the chemical concoction inside to go haywire and send it careening away. At this point, the cyan is done for, but it seems Bingus insists on getting the last word in.
Fleece and Bengus are the remaining survivors, but there are still plenty of tests moving forward. I think next time we'll have to see how they do out in the wild. <laughs>